In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at editing a form that we have already created. So in your document list, you're going to find the form that you want to edit. Now the form icon is a green icon. It's got two dots and two lines next to it. Uh, very similar to the spreadsheet icon. The spreadsheet kind of has a um, table look into it. So make sure you're um, opening the form. And so you'll just go ahead and click on that to open the form. Now, don't panic. The form itself doesn't actually open. Remember that when you create a form, you're actually you're also creating a spreadsheet to go along with that form. And the spreadsheet is where your data is going to be held. So every time somebody submits a form, they will be adding to this spreadsheet. So you may be asking, okay, but I wanted to edit the form, so if I want to make changes to my form, how do I get back to the form? In your spreadsheet, you're going to go to the form menu and you're going to choose edit form and this will open up the form that you created in edit mode. So if we wanted to make changes to our form, we could do that. Maybe we want to reorder the questions. You'll notice as I hover over each question, I have a four-headed drag and drop tool. So if I click on the question and drag it to a new location, uh, that's how I can reorder and move these uh, questions around. So if I want to change the order of the questions, I simply click on it and drag it to a new location. Also remember when you hover over the question, you'll get your editing tools. So if I wanted to make changes to this question, I would click the pencil in the upper right hand corner and that brings up my editing options. If I want to duplicate this question, I would click the duplicate button, which is the two squares. Or if I decided to delete the question, I would use the trash can, which is the delete button. Now remember, after you've made your changes, you can see what the live form will look like by coming down to the bottom here and clicking the link where it says view the published form here. So I'll go ahead and click that so we can see the changes that have been made. And here is our sample form with the questions reordered. So that's um, how you get into the form and edit the questions. All right, here we are back at our spreadsheet. And notice that this form, act, somebody has actually submitted our form. Actually, three different people have submitted our form. Now remember, in our form, we actually had two questions, the name and then the true-false uh, table that we had. This timestamp column will always be the first column in your spreadsheet uh, that is associated with a form. And this is nice because it tells you the exact date and time that the form was submitted. So remember, this is not a column that you will make. This is a column that uh, Google actually creates for you when you are working with a form. All right, so how can we get our form out to people so that they can um, actually take our survey or do the quiz uh, that we want them to do? There's a couple of different options that you have. If we go up to the form menu, one option we can have is we can send this form. So we could actually email people and tell them to submit our form. So when we go to send this form, it says, all right, who do you want to send this form to? And you'd go ahead and enter in the email addresses of the people that you want to send the form to. You can actually choose from your contacts if you have contacts entered into your contacts list. Uh, notice down here you can include the form in the email. This makes it really nice because then people don't have to click on a link and go out to the form. The form is right there in the email and they can simply um, enter their answers and submit the form right through the email. So we'll go ahead and send this and I'll show you what the email looks like. So here I am in my Gmail and here is the email that I sent and notice that I had the option to send the form in the email and here is the form embedded right in the email. This makes it nice because I can go ahead and fill in this form and submit it right here. Let's take a look at the other option you have when you're sending a form. The other option you have if you go to form and send form. The other option is to not include the form in the email. So if I uncheck that box and send it to this person, we'll go ahead and send that and we'll take a look and see what that looks like in the email. So this time the message says I'm invited to fill out a sample form and it gives me a link to go to fill out the form. So if I click on that link, it's going to take me to the form. So it just, you know, 
you can do either option. Um, I sometimes like to embed the form right in the email because it makes it easy, but you also have to keep in mind that some email programs will not allow an embedded form to come through. So you might want to stay with the link option. Um, that probably will be usable for more people. The other option you have to share a form is actually to embed the form in some kind of a web page. And I like to do this if I am doing a quiz for my students. I like to embed the form right into a School Fusion page. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Again, we're going to go to the form menu, and this time we're going to choose embed form in a web page. This is going to give you the embed code for this particular form. And right here it tells you to paste this into your blog or website. So I'm simply going to um, copy it, my favorite way, either right click and copy or you can control C. And then I am going to bring up my School Fusion page. I'm going to, I already have a web page started. I'm going to click the source button and I'm going to paste that code in there. When I click the source button again, you will see that the form is now embedded into our web page. And so as we always need to do in School Fusion when you're done making your changes, you're going to click Add Article, and we'll take a look and see what that looks like on a web page. Here is the form. Again, this would make a great um, option for a quiz. And there's one thing that I do like to do. Remember in School Fusion you have a limited space that you're working with. Can you see here how my form is kind of hanging off the edge? I'm going to change that. I'm going to go back in and edit this web page, and that has to do with the source code. And this is an easy fix, so I'm just going to click on the source button and I'm going to look for the width of my form and we can see right here the width is 760. That's too wide to fit on a School Fusion page. I like to work with the width at about 600 so if I just simply change that width to 600 I'll click my source button again and then I'll come down and I'll click edit article we will see that now the form fits nicely in the area that we have to work with on School Fusion. So those are the options that you have in sharing a form that you create in Google Forms.